Does money bring peace of mind? This is a question that has haunted our society for centuries. In a culture that values financial success, it's natural to wonder if more money will truly lead us to lasting happiness. After all, if money can provide comfort, security, and a life free from worries, shouldn't it be the ultimate answer to mental well-being? The truth, however, is that the question is far more complex. Money, by itself, does not guarantee happiness. It can bring a certain level of security, but true wealth, the kind that transcends a bank account balance, involves a combination of emotional, relational, and spiritual factors. Today, we embark on a journey to explore this intricate relationship between money and mental well-being. We will reflect on why true wealth is much greater than numbers and figures. We will discover how to find balance between our financial goals and our emotional well-being. Money and Mental Security Imagine a person who has spent most of their life living paycheck to paycheck. The constant stress, the fear that a financial emergency could ruin their savings, creates a permanent cloud of anxiety. When they finally achieve financial stability, when they can comfortably pay their bills and even save a little, it feels as if a huge weight has been lifted off their shoulders. There is immediate relief, a peace that comes with the feeling of security. Financial security is, without a doubt, one of the key pillars of mental well-being. We know that financial stress can trigger a range of problems, from insomnia to depression. When we are constantly worried about our finances, it's nearly impossible to focus on other aspects of life, like our relationships or personal growth. But here lies a paradox. While money can provide a foundation of security, it's not a magical cure for all emotional problems. There's a fine line between having enough to feel secure and falling into the trap of always wanting more. And it's this endless pursuit of more. More money, more comfort, more status, that often becomes a source of anxiety in itself. Here we can introduce the concept of financial sufficiency. Instead of continually chasing wealth, what if we accepted that there's a point where we have enough? This idea of sufficiency forces us to rethink our values, prioritizing what truly matters. Peace of mind, emotional health, and the ability to live without the constant burden of financial worry. The role of money in freedom and control over time. Money also has the power to give us something far more precious than material goods. Time. Time to do what we love. Time to spend with the people who matter. Time to simply exist without the pressure of an exhausting routine. When we think of financial freedom, we often imagine large sums of money. But in reality, true freedom comes from the ability to control our time. It's not just about accumulating wealth, but using money as a tool to buy the most valuable thing of all, autonomy. Think of someone who has spent years working in a job they didn't enjoy just to pay the bills. When that person finally achieves enough financial freedom to choose how to spend their days, something magical happens. They can start dedicating their time to activities that make them feel alive. Whether it's spending more time with family, traveling, or simply having the flexibility to choose how to work, here's the key. Being truly wealthy isn't about how much we have in material goods, but about how much freedom we can experience. True wealth is the ability to say no to things that no longer serve us and, yes, to the experiences and people that bring meaning to our lives. Money, personal relationships, and mental well-being. The impact of money on personal relationships is undeniable. Financial problems are one of the main causes of divorce and family tension. When we are financially stressed, our relationships often suffer, as anxiety can manifest in conflicts, resentment, and lack of communication. But the opposite is also true. Financial stability can strengthen our relationships, providing the opportunity to create meaningful moments with those we love. When we are not constantly worried about money, we can focus on building deeper, richer connections with the people around us. An interesting example is that of couples who, after reaching a certain level of financial security, decide to prioritize experiences over accumulating more material goods. Traveling together, participating in cultural activities, or simply sharing quiet meals at home can enrich the emotional connection in ways that no expensive gift could. Money when well-managed, can be a powerful tool to strengthen personal bonds. But it's important to remember that the emotional value of relationships outweighs any material benefit money can bring. What makes a life rich and fulfilling are the shared moments and deep connections, not the objects we accumulate. 
the dark side of the endless pursuit of wealth. On the other hand, there is a dark side to the relentless pursuit of wealth. In our society, we are often led to believe that more money is always better, that accumulating more goods and achieving greater financial milestones is the only measure of success. But this mindset can be dangerous. The obsession with more wealth can lead to a deterioration of mental health. How many stories have we heard of people who, after reaching impressive levels of wealth, fell into a cycle of burnout, anxiety, and emotional isolation? The endless pursuit of money often leads to exhaustion, both physical and emotional, and often results in distancing from the people and activities that truly bring us joy. There is a persistent myth that more money always results in more happiness. But as many studies show, after a certain point, more wealth does not significantly increase emotional well-being. What brings us happiness is balance. It's knowing when we have enough and being able to stop chasing something that, in the end, may consume us. Balance. How to cultivate a healthy relationship with money and mental well-being. The key to a financially fulfilling life is finding balance. This means being able to use money as a tool to improve our quality of life without letting it dominate our emotions or decisions. A person who has learned to cultivate this healthy relationship with money is one who prioritizes experiences and relationships over possessions. Perhaps they have realized that true happiness lies in living moments with the people they love, taking care of their own mental and physical health, and nurturing hobbies that bring them satisfaction. For this person, money is a tool that supports a balanced life, not the ultimate goal. Financial mindfulness practices can be a powerful way to cultivate this balance. By becoming more aware of how we spend our money and why we make certain financial choices, we can start aligning our spending with our values. This can involve anything from setting clear limits on our consumption desires to investing in experiences that bring us joy and personal growth. Conclusion True wealth goes far beyond a full bank account. It involves freedom, emotional well-being, and meaningful relationships. Money, at its core, is a tool, and like all tools, its value depends on how we use it. When we prioritize our mental well-being, our emotional connections, and our autonomy over the endless pursuit of more wealth, we begin to discover the true essence of a rich life. So, as you reflect on your own relationship with money, ask yourself, are you using money as a means to achieve a balanced and meaningful life, or are you stuck in an endless race for more? Remember, the true value of money lies in how it can support a full life where emotional wealth and mental well-being are prioritized. After all, true wealth is not about how much money you have, but about how rich your experiences, relationships, and peace of mind are.